Hey, how's it going? So today I wanna to talk to you about all the time that you think you don't have time. So a lot of times we think that we don't have time. We think that our time is taken up and it's being used for something. Oh, I have appointments. Oh, I'm going to the dentist's office. Oh, I'm, I have to take an Uber and it takes me 30 minutes to the city and back from the city. All these different places are places that we can honestly use that time so much more effectively than what we think that we're doing. We act like this time is taken up, like we don't have the ability to do something else. And lucky for you, we live in the 21st century so we can milk the most out of that amount of time that we think is being wasted. The first thing that you can do, and one of the easiest things to do anywhere, is podcasts or listening to some type of audiobook because both of those things allow you to gather and collect information during a time which you think your time is taken up. So one of the most obvious ways to do this is using something like Audible or YouTube, where you can automatically get that information beamed to your ears wherever you are. If you're in a 30 minute Uber ride, make that two chapters of an audiobook. If you're on an airplane, you can listen the whole time. It doesn't matter what you're doing, Audio is so important, so easy to take in information nowadays. That's why I have my podcast. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. But having some sort of audio-based learning, whether it is some type of creative work or it's something that's just a regular podcast where you want to go and get a blog post transcribed into a podcast and have it that way, then let that be there. But what happens is you take that time, which was previously unused, and you take what you were going to do anyways, listen to this podcast, and just move it to the time that was unused, which is now productive time. Another thing, and this happens when people drive to work or they do something that they normally don't think they have the ability to do something else, is voice, it's talking. It's actually recording yourself doing something, which is an idea or it's a way to project that information later in time. Because if you have a 30 minute drive to work, maybe you start a segment about 30 minute drive to work, or maybe you record ideas the whole way about what you're going to do for work if it's creative work, or if you're allowed to have that input inside of your work. And I really hope you are if you're having that high quality height in life. On the other hand, if you don't want a podcast and you don't want to record your voice and you want something else to do, networking is so easy to do and it's so easy to do while you have these little like time sucks that are going on. So if you're waiting in line or you're waiting in an appointment or you're in that Uber going to work, networking is so easy to do where you can hop on LinkedIn, you can hop on your text messages, you can reach out to people you haven't in a long time. And I'm not talking about that shallow networking where you cold approach someone, but more of the networking where you make friends with someone and you're talking to your acquaintances and your good friends and you're rebuilding that repertoire that you would have otherwise lost. These times are perfect times to get back in contact with those that you always want to be in contact with. A great book for this is Never Eat Alone, where he goes through how he networks and his amazing strategies. But one thing that he does, because he's always networking, as he says it, outreaching, talking to other people, and he's building these crazy different social circles and groups, is to use that time to text people to find new connections, to get introductions, to introduce people to other people so that you are known as the intermediary. You're known as the it guy, the one who connects people. That is one of the easiest ways to use this time. And lastly, even though this sounds a bit different, it's such a higher leverage skill and it's deep thought. It's really critical thinking. It's a way of making sure and analyzing these thought trails that you have all the time and being able to actually use them. See. What I've noticed with myself is a lot of times I'll have these amazing thoughts or I'll start to go down a really good thought pattern, but then I'll be disrupted by something. And I'll wanna come back to that thought, but I don't know when I can. That's why typically what I'll do is use that time and I'll use that time effectively on an Uber ride, on the train, on the bus, while I'm waiting for an appointment. I'm doing all those things. I'm thinking about something that I wanna do, whether it's create a new video for you guys, whether it's a blog post, whether it's just something I'm trying to sort out in my life and I never think that I have the time to actually think about it because yes, you do actually need to set aside time to think about things as well as self-love. And this is a great place to practice the I love myself mantra that I put in a previous video. All of these different things can happen during this wasted time that occurs daily for most people. So those are the four things that you could be doing that I think are so beneficial 
during this time when you think you don't have time. Once again, that is listening to podcasts or an audiobook, so taking in information. Voice, that's putting out something to the world either through your voice or recording memos or creating ideas based on a voice strategy where you can just talk the whole time, whether it's driving, whether it's at an appointment, whatever it may be, can make it seem like you're on the phone. It doesn't really matter. There's networking. Networking is so important. It's so easy to do during this time. and We always wonder when we'll have time to do it. Well, now's your time. It's when you don't have time. And lastly, we have deep thought and reaffirming mantras. So saying I love myself over and over again, going into some amazing thought pattern and really thinking things through for one of the first times that a lot of people have in a long time. But these are really easy ways to use up that wasted time and to make sure that you're grounded and you don't feel overwhelmed when you have a lack of time. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Comment below with something that you normally like to do when you think that your time is being wasted. And please press the subscribe button if you get a chance. It really goes to help this community grow and for me to produce more content and videos. I wanna thank you again and I'll see you soon.